Okay, we're back here with another YouTube video. Playing some e-tron today. You know, of course, we're just going to have Tron on turn three like a good player, as per usual. We'll see how we can convert this. Oh, stand by me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Do we just want to. No, I'm not going to ballista for one, I don't think. Yep, the great matchup. Is the Grixis version of Urza better? Who knows? We haven't tried it out yet. We're on the play, so we have a chance at least. This is a power plant. Let's see if we find anything good off the top. Car of the Great Creator is not bad. PRG12. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. I really appreciate it, man. Getting ever so closer to our sub goal of who knows what. Don't quite know what it's going to be, but we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. You're getting the, <laughs> the Yamake I joke. Only the best emotes here. Okay, let's take Searing Blaze so we can't attack with Guide. Also summon here. Oh, yeah. Secret sub-goals. Yeah, we don't know what the sub-goals are yet. We'll figure them out soon enough. Rift Bolt. Okay. What do we get out of the board? Go get, like, oh, we don't have Worm Coil Engine. Oof. So I guess we'll just do this. Thought Knots here. Beating a few. Beating you yesterday. We're compensating for beating me. Wait, did he beat me yesterday? I bet he did. Okay, let's go crack down. anything worth getting out of the board here I think I'm just gonna plus and then go for lattice the next turn oh is hand side cool the second card up from the right is it oh it is there yep I'm an idiot okay well I think I still would have made the same line of thought nodding. Setting up for Lattice. I'm going to block every single time. And I'm just going to Lattice make him... Or, okay, we can just do this. This is also good. Oh, okay, so he's just letting himself be dead to Lattice? Well, I guess he's dead to Lattice regardless, right? Lattice. You do not get to play the game anymore. Yeah, I probably should have done the math to see if Worm Coil was correct, and also made sure that it was actually there. I thought for some reason the sideboard just didn't have it, which would have been pretty unfortunate. Um, definitely don't want the Dismembers here. Definitely want the Radiant Fountain. Definitely want the Spatial Contortion. Anything else we don't really want? Hmm. Jerk. ED, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Got a good feeling we're going to reach our follower goal much before our Twitch sub goal. But you never know. Maybe someone will just, you know, have the insane generosity. Narmar, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Just have the insane generosity of just dropping me like an insane sub bomb. That seems unlikely, though. Don't want to have Worm Coil Engine in my main deck over the sideboard, even though Karn can get it. To make it, because Karn's most likely going to get something else, but I don't know. Nice rent goal, too. Yeah, you never know when the rent goal is going to be filled. The sub goal is kind of like the, the rent goal as well. 0%. Oh, yeah. Rent at 0%. Feels good, man. You never, you might as well put all the goals up there, because, you know, I need to have rent paid somehow, somewhere. 
Twitch chat gotta help me out with that one. Um, I think this is probably fine. Can't put, I, I've got, I've got rent and for enough times, rent plus utilities for a good enough amount of time. We gotta do something, we gotta, we gotta start getting good though. <laughs> Mm hmm. My one. Um. Oof. Draw. I think I have to mulligan this hand. Very close though. This hand I can definitely keep. I'll get rid of both the maps. This hand seems pretty good. Hint of insanity. <laughs> These are Japanese promo walkers. Those cost more money. I uh, got them right now. At least. Probably just jamming Chalice on one. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh, I played the wrong land. I wanted to play the Regent Continent. Now I have to think. I think I'm actually just going to do this. I think they just have Smash the Smithereens. Got a good feeling that Smash the Smithereens is in my future. Mm-hmm. Searing... Wow. How did they board that in? How do you board in Searing Blood in this matchup? Wow, that's that's actually crazy. How do you board that in? Wow, that is that's actually crazy. That's such a bad card in this matchup. Am I gonna get Skull Cracked here? Damn. Yeah, I played the wrong land on the wrong turn and got incredibly punished for it. I think we just have to be aggressive here. I'm sorry, it's good as mine. I faced somebody with Angel's Grace and Neoprene. <laughs> That's really funny. Land me dealer. So I guess we do this for one. If I could have done it for two, I could have I would have done it. Probably. Because Reality Smasher is still lethal next turn. Maybe I'm just not supposed to do it at all because of... Yeah, because of that possibility. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna turn four. Yeah, I know. Why did they tap Sunbait Canyon? It's the only land they could tap to make it so I still have lethal next turn. Like, even if I don't draw land. Yeah, this guy is playing uh, Lucy Goosey to say the least. Okay, skewer me. Tapping the sun, the sunbaked canyon again. I. This is just baffling to me. This man is. This man is on an, another level. He somehow understands something significantly more than I do. He's on a whole other level than me, of course. <laughs> Not alone, the watchtower. <laughs> okay. Most in Again, Virginia. Mountain. Chad and go a river. Um. We'll keep this hand. A little bit loose, but we'll keep. I don't think it's that bad. Um, no, the burn matchup's actually not that good for burn. If they're on the play, they're good matchup. If they're on the draw, it's a bad matchup. I think. If the Etron player is good and knows how to mulligan. Hmm. Take me home. Country road. Aether Bile, okay. Two blue waters. Oh. 
Um, yep, do this and then pass. Take me home to the place I belong. Taxes, I guess so. Taxes is not the greatest matchup for me to say at least. Hmm. Is this hand even keepable? Definitely on the looser end of keeps. Oh, it looks like we're against spirits. But we draw any land in our like three draw steps on the draw. We're in a pretty good spot, I would say. Guess we could be playing against some like random stuff. Hmm. Rattle chains, okay, no, it's just blue white spirits, it looks like. Okay. So I guess they have spell puller up now, which sucks. Take me home to the place I belong. Huh. What is this? Unsettled Mariner. That is really good. I need to draw like Temple now. Or just nothing. It's pretty unlucky to whiff on a land for three draw steps, but you know, what can you do? Sometimes you weren't meant to get there. Oh, I guess they just have haste, or not haste, they have flash because of the rattle chains. That works, that works. Probably in a really bad spot right now because of the fact that we just didn't draw lands. Path? Why did they path me main phase? I guess they could attack with this. Okay, that's fun. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm just dead. Go to 13. That'd be difficult to beat anyways. Yeah, I guess we, like, don't really have anything going on. But then we can, like, get Ugin and start doing things. I don't know. I think we got kind of unlucky there. Dismember. And Spatial Contortion here. All this stuff's also very good. Chalice of the Void, I'm not a big fan of in this matchup. Hmm, <laughs> Walking Ballista is good. <laughs> hmm, what else do we want here? I can see the Radiant Fountain being fine as well. Just If we get Ensnaring Bridge into play, then we're pretty favored. Each one's the best, arguably one of the best decks, not the best deck in the format, based on at least what trophy leaders play. It is heavily played amongst trophy leaders. Light, the light. Mm -hmm. Baby, I need, want you to see everything. Want you to see all of the lights. Mm -hmm. All of the lights. <laughs> that Mateus person, yeah, it's Laplace John and the Mateus person. Span the most leagues, yeah, but if it's multiple people doing it, God. I'm gonna keep this hand. Feel sad when I don't draw any more lands. If you do you actually have to play to become the leader? Right all day, every day. And it just depends on how hot you run versus other people, I would say. Almost there, yeah. Headed up the stages. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna keep. Hmm. I gotta ditch that. Just do this and then pass. These are two to three months, yeah. Every day, or at least every other day. Yeah, definitely have to be playing a lot. Not deny that. 
Jotters is mine. We are in a very good spot. We don't. We're in a pretty bad spot. Okay, that was pretty bad. Can't. Yeah, you can't play really bad decks. Usually the trophy leaders play a lot, I would say. <laughs> okay, land me dealer. Hers is mine. Hers is mine. Waste, not exactly what I was looking for. Pass turn. A lot of people feel like playing a lot of magic. I If I ran better, I could uh, probably get... I think my win rate is not as necessarily high as the trophy leaders, but definitely within the top 5 to top 10 most of the time. But I just don't like run well in the right spots. Unlike now where I'm just going to run well in the right spots. <laughs> yeah, good game. It was easy. Easy peasy. The second card of the great creator started looking a lot better now that I just ripped it off the top, you know. Also, force negation. That's not something that I necessarily expected. <laughs> so they have deputy of detention. I think I'm a fan of getting Mystic Forge here. Because if they don't have anything, then I can just go get um, Mycosynth Lattice. Not, yeah, I can just go get Mycosynth Lattice next turn. One of three leagues per day. I mean, I'm playing like two... Somewhere between two and four leagues a day. So if I'm doing that every day... Like on... Let's say on average I'm playing three leagues a day. Do that over like 90 days. We have a pretty insane win rate. Okay, that's not bad for them. Probably gonna take out my Mystic Forge with Spellcaller off the Aether Vial. Hmm. Let's play Mystic Forge out, because if they Spellcaller it, then I can just take up Blast Zone and be fine with it, actually. If I can just take up Blast Zone to three. I could have also gone with just Crack Blast Zone for one, but I think this is fine as well. Yeah, Blast Zone is, like, pretty insane that they, like, printed this card. <laughs> so, I'm playing around, like, 90 leagues per... Or, no, it's three. So, 90 leagues per day, so I'm, like, 270 leagues. So, let's see. Divide that by, like, 30. So, let's say 40. The last, the last trophy that it was around 40. So around every six to seven leagues, I would have to five zero, which seems pretty. Re it seems like it would be reasonable to do, but nope. Not even a five zero every two days. I just can never five zero ever. And again, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily playing the best. Trust me, I used to triple slash quad Q like dailies and eight mans and all that stuff, but I you just can't do that with um streaming too it's you're just not gonna be playing well ever just not something you can do 3.5 percent it's been proven <laughs> i don't know about proven but i'd say it definitely decreases by a good chunk i'd say maybe like somewhere between five to ten percent decrease in win rate That's fine. Certain times, like, increases your win rate drastically, like Gabe Nassif in the Vintage Challenges, where he just plays at random and then, uh, like, has his, <laughs> has his chat help him out. He, he literally said, like, uh, when he won one of the Vintage Challenges, he's like, oh, I just would have never seen these lines if people didn't tell me. It was really funny. I'd probably have a hundred percent win rate. Yeah, let's get rid of waste. 
Actually, I just go get Mycosynthletus. Let's see how they beat that. Lattice. You got Force of... You got Force plus another card. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, just run it back. Thought I couldn't win that game. Now it's Gabe or Gab. I just say Gab. Kind of random. I got four wins way more consistently. I mean, yeah. Five O's are like, you just like run hot. It's like your win percentage just comes in the right order and then you 5 -oh, Or you play against the good matchups or... It's also very dependent on like what times you're playing because at certain times they're just like worst players playing. I would say like at the night times for me, the players are probably better on average. Test streams win rate as well, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think I've got to keep this hand. What a season is uh, what a season is based off win amount instead? What do you mean? Like just amount of matches won rather than trophies? Chat advice is pretty much easy. Five of all the tests. <laughs> chat advice is usually significantly worse than uh, not chat advice. You also have to, like, think about, like, conflicting opinions. I think, like, a lot of the time, um, if you had someone over your shoulder telling you different ideas of what to do, um, while you're playing your game, you'll more often than not end up losing equity than gaining it. Like, I would say, um, not true. Well, so you have to, especially if you're playing a live game, you have to factor in time. Well, we're most of the time. Um, it's not necessarily true, I would say. There's a lot of factors that would go into it. Depends on what deck we're playing. It depends on if it, um, makes time constraints a problem. It depends on, um, like our conflicting ideas and still make it so we play worse overall by just like arguing. There's a lot of factors that play into it. Like it was weird because I, I would talk to my friend who was, um, he was like, I thought at least he was messing up. That's really unfortunate. I'm surprised they brought that in though. It's good in this situation. I can tell you that much. <laughs> And I told him about a certain play that he made, and I was like, oh, this wasn't good in this spot. And then he ended up making, like, the same play in a different spot that I said to make it. So, he ended up not making a play that was bad in one spot that would have been good in another spot, because I told him in a previous time it wasn't good. Hmm. Why do you have a dampening sphere? Or why do they have a dampening sphere? No, who knows? It's good in this spot, I can tell you that much. Lose to time. Yeah, I know a lot of people that stream have lost to time. I'm both a pretty quick player and know when to just, like, stop looking at chat. Wow. Um. Okay. Did not expect that at all. This is so weird. If I had Karn the Great Creator, I'd be in such a good spot right now. I think I just have to Thought Not Seer and feel bad about it. Because they're going to spell color me. Yep. Hmm. Do we interact with spell color? Yeah, but it's just like the way that they built their deck post for it's just like so so weird. Not look at chat. If you're looking at chat at all, looking too much. <laughs> but just to go like, okay, I'm not gonna look at chat and play my own game. Unless somebody points out something you specifically didn't see. <laughs> hmm. 
Hey, Blaston was an incredibly good draw. I can just take it up to three and then just kill everything. The distraction not by itself. Yeah, I can agree with that. Wow, they put more onto the board after the blast zone came out. Selfless Spirit. Rattle Chains. Okay, wow. That's somewhat surprising. This is Selfless Spirit would make sense. You never just bring in more than the league EP. I mean, yeah, but there's certain times with like people would rather watch you winning than losing in certain spots, and especially in time people don't like people would rather the person just like focus on the gameplay, I would say, than on chat. There are times where you just gotta go like, okay guys, I gotta focus so I don't like lose on time here. Supreme Phantom, okay. Nope, taking a good chunk here. Put up to three. Let's crack this. No selfless spirit is really good for me. Hmm. Eugene is so wrong. It's not, yeah, not the right Eugene for the job. I would like to cast this, yes. What you got, opponent? Negate. Sounds good to me. Gotta do this in the upkeep. Sucks because the Mausoleum Wanderer can hit it. I do stream 5 hours a day, 20 days a month, so 100 hours, say 50 leagues. If your league EV is minus 5 ticks from streaming, you 100 subs. Does you factor in time loss? Yeah. Trying to race out humanly, Yama's ignoring this guy. Wait, which guy? Hmm. <laughs> um, meme traders? Yeah. That's just that's just Smurf being Smurf, you know. I do like having these interesting conversations, you know. Okay, no Lord off the top, please. Just whiff. If we whiff, if they whiff for this turn, I think I'm in a good spot. Well, not a good spot, but a fine spot. That's Smurf apparently. Okay, so we're taking four here, we're going down to three. Wish I could somehow cast the map to go get Blast Zone at the same time. Hang out Ugin. I think we have to kill this. Because we're playing we're planning on him not having drawn in like anything relevant. Path to Exile. Labard, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Path kind of sucks. But it's, it's, it's fine. Wow, did they draw something? Wow. Okay, yeah, you got me, opponent. Damn, didn't think I could lose this one, but the Damping Sphere really got me. Uh, give me the give me the post GGs after I drew all the sideboard cards. Feels good, man. Yep. Draw a spell and spell. Not flood out like me. Classic. How good is blue white spiritually? I don't think it's very good, but I seem to lose to it a lot because they just seem to always have like like two to three lands, vile, and like tab the creatures. Like, when they don't have Vile, their deck is, like, abysmally bad, I think. You know.
<laughs> or deformed, you gotta lose. Oh, that's true. That's definitely true. Huh. I think it's really good if we draw, like, any spells. Doesn't do, like, anything besides that. This hand just looks a lot better. I can just Urza's this mine here. I have a lot of very good draws. I'm gonna drop a bomb right now. I'm not Smurf. I don't believe you. You may be Nigerian Prince TM, but that's the only person I could see you being. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Thinking what deck to grind next? That's fair. Oh, my opponent played Chalice on one. Joke's on you, sucker. I drew Chalice after I um, didn't need it. The Smith spelled his name. Not a lame ass mana trade account. You're the only person I could think it possibly would be. Thought not searing me. That's no bueno. Not worried about Tron? Feels bad, man. Hmm. They took Mattery Shaper. Wow. What if I just draw Tron here, though? I'm an idiot. Um, Eldrazi. Um, play my own Chalice of the Void on one. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I can't get rid of the Chalice until I draw Karn. Just have Double Thought Knots here. Yeah, seems, seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Chalice on one do? Absolutely nothing. Follow me, only you can set me free. Technically not just dead, but save myself some time. I was going to die anyways, so I was just going to draw land. <laughs> cut all this dust, cut Chalice of the Void, bring in Dismember. Hmm. Walking Ballista is fine-ish. Want to get something out of the board? Worm Quill is fine to get. Um, I guess Spatial Contortion is fine, and I guess we'll bring in the Radiant Fountain. I guess is Relic Progenitus better than any of those? Um, maybe I just want like relics instead of the Spatial Contortions. Just like to cycle. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Okay, we're back. Um, I guess we've got Tron, don't we? So we just keep sixty-nine Smurf salt. <laughs> I think it's I think it's still Smurf. You have to prove who you are, mana traders, to prove us that you aren't Smurf, though. That's the real thing that you have to do. Play this, play Relic, pass the turn. I'm very good at modern, how did you know? Stormscape familiar? I don't even know what that is. Hmm. Just play out Mindstone and then pass the turn. 100% skill heavy hand. You know it. Okay, I guess we're getting Eldrazi Temple here. Hmm. 
think I'm fine doing this. And then just like letting him reality, or not reality smasher, uh, thought not see your way in my, uh, dismember. Same time, he's not smart enough to do and say such things. <laughs> he's ever doing it, though. Regardless if it's Smurf or not, we'll always believe it's Smurf. We're just believers, you know? Okay, Matter Shaper, sure, that's fine. Let's crack this. Play that out. I think we just go and get something like Cryptic Caves here. Oh, we don't have Cryptic Caves in our deck, okay. So I guess I'm gonna go get, just get Seagate Wreckage. Just attack, I'm gonna pass the turn. <laughs> no blocks, eh? I'm a fan of no blocks. I'm a fan of no blocks. Yeah, hear my name. <laughs> Karn the Great Creator, eh? I'll get rid of this matter shaper here. Ghost Quarter, okay. So I guess we lose Tron. That sucks, actually, a lot. <laughs> Hmm, 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 hmm. Plus and then pass. Goes quarter and us in our draw step, I guess. Alright, do it now. Sure, you got it, opponent. <laughs> Let's see, what do we want here? Go get liquid metal coating, I guess. Attack Karn the Great Creator. Pass the turn. Okay, because your favorite pony got a card. Oh, damn. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, the daughter would have to be a brony. Yeah, that would be... It seems unlikely, yeah. Hmm. Let's kill the, the Mind Stone off. Now we can plus on our Mind Stone and kill the Karn the Great Creator. Or do that. That works too. Then we can play Liquid Metal Coating, kill Zeldrazi Temple, and be good to go. Gonna plus one to kill Karn last turn. Yeah, I realized that a little too late. Realized it a bit too late. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Smurf. One of us think they are him, not the other way around. So logically, it must be Smurf. You never know, man. You never know. <laughs> Can't wait much stronger. That's so long I've been known you. Is this Tron again? I guess we'll keep Tron. Tron and draw anything good. It's not a bad one to draw. Playing skills at the moment, but I feel matchup is John and playing skills, which said where to do game two and three strategy. Um take out a mox opal, take out no, broad and chalice of the void. Okay, that's crazy. But um bring in two cards, cut a mox opal, cut an arc bound worker. Bring in three dismembers, cut another walking ballista, cut steel overseer, and I think a second arcbound worker, if I remember correctly. I think that's what I was doing. The reality smashers, so they got resist tower, sure.
I think I'm just going to play Ugin, start getting it going, and double thought not see them next turn. Should I want it to be compared to Smurf? Hmm. Who knows? Not playing. Yeah, um. Mostly get timed out. I'm pretending to be mana traders or something for them. Who knows? Oh, they. <laughs> They saw my hand, they're like, it's enough, it's enough, I've seen enough. Your hand is too good, your hand is too good. My draw steps were Thought Not Seer, Reality Smasher, Thought Not Seer, Ugin. After I had Tron rolled up in my hand. Seems pretty good, seems pretty good. <laughs> pretty good, I would say. No night now, that's a long gap in knowing you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna keep this hand. It's a little bit sketchy, but I get a free emote. Everything needs to. I, I've come to the conclusion that every emote has to be some variation on either my body or my face, because I think that will be uh, funny to have a like continuation of like the first emote. You just have a melon, you have a smiley face, you got a spaghetti monster, you've got a shill. Hmm. I have like almost the same amount of emotes as you, Magus. Hmm. On after running six buyout as a meme. Oh, okay. Need to delete that. Magus the Moon Shill. Oh yeah, you were playing Gwent at some point. So let's see. How many subs do I have right now, even? Let's take a look, sees. I've got 25 subs. That's not too bad. Pretty good, I would say. We need 10 more subs, then we can hit another emote slot. I believe, yeah. So I think it's affiliate. Go to the... Subscription? No, not subscription names. Emotes. Yeah, we're 25 of 35. I could do a tier 1 slash 2 emote. See, there we go. Stegosaurus, thank you for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, wow, we're playing against this. Okay, this matchup should be good for us. Okay, we drew Tron, so that's a good start. So now we're 9 subs away. We're nine subs away from another emote. We could just have, like, even more insanely awful emotes, like the Yama KI joke. Reminded me and I have a prime subscription. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm out. I'm, I'm trying to do the uh, good old literally be here every single day at the same times. So people will just, like, they will, they'll just go, like, okay, this person's on at this time. Therefore, I will just be here. And then eventually they sub, you know? Zab one Jack twenty eight. Even if my even if my content isn't the best, consistency is important. Well, thank you, Segasaurus. I appreciate it. People, how he's farming them. I mean, what I've got over other people, I think, which is important, is I'm very very transparent about what I'm doing. I think I'm incredibly transparent, and people appreciate that to an extent. I would say. Miss members in Karn, one Karn man, bringing needle for Lily or running six. Miss member in two needles since they already got Karns in the main. I don't like needle all that much because, like a lot of the time, the running six and Liliana's like don't get like that overboard. But you could bring it in; is not the worst idea. Yeah, let's thought not see them, see what they're working with. Now that they did the Teferi bounce, I'm more than fine thought nodding them. Suheili or EE? -E. Let's take Suheili. I can't chalice on zero yet because of the EE. -E. They could just do it on zero too. Actually, I should have done it anyways. Now that I think about it a little bit longer because then they have to get rid of all their zeros too, the Everflowing Chalice and the Mox Opal. This is the only good song on my playlist? That's not true. Plus I'm cute. Oh baby. But you have a kid, so you know, it doesn't it doesn't work the same way. 
this a Guitar Hero playlist? It's definitely not a Guitar Hero playlist. We my one of my favorite playlists is just Guitar Hero 3 playlist. That's actually fuck it. We're gonna listen to that. Guitar Hero 3 playlist. There we go. You've done it you've done it now, haven't you? You've done it now. Oh, and it's got like the the song on like one side and like the other part of the song on the other side. Ooh, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright. Take it easy. Yeah, I know they played it. You hate it? You hate slow ride. <laughs> uh headphones do that shit, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, it's an odd choice, I would agree. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, between the headphones, yeah, I know. It is not great, to say the least. The miss right. Roll all night. Yay. Yeah. Ugin the infant. <laughs> if I was big Ugin, it would have been a little bit better. But this Ugin is fine. <laughs> Slow ride. Get easy. <laughs> Okay. I think we're gonna trade here. Oh, I can't spatial contortion. They have to ferry out, I'm so dumb. Oh no. Oh no. And they just have another Urza. Fuck me. Well, that was a humongous punt. I don't know. I would have just attacked last turn, though. Hmm. I'm drawing another Urza was really, really bad for me. I forgot I have the Ugin the Ineffable thing. Printing some of these cards, I know. Get easy. <laughs> Wait till Oko catches on, oh lordy. <laughs> I just own it so soon. I should have space contortioned my guy beforehand, but still gonna kill this. <laughs> Why did we attack there? To kill the con to kill the construct. Though I should have space contortioned my guy first. That was a big mistake. I wanted to get rid of this Teferi. I just like Punting off right now. <laughs> okay, yep. Ugin's dead. Wait, do we not get the chalice? Huh. What's my list right now? Update stream decker. Yeah, it's just the, just like the list from basically whatever the top uh, Etron deck list is right now. Probably what I'm playing. I'd have to guess. It's Healy off the top. Mm, it's pretty good. Let's play. That's a bug. Wait. Okay. Um. Just dude. When the token leaves the battlefield, put the XL card to my hand. Yeah, that is a bug. Huh. So 
let me um, reimbursement real quick. Magic online reimbursement. So I'll play this and then pass. I'll just like F6 to them. I don't think we have a way um, to get back into it. Actually, no, we do. So we could draw a card in the Great Creator. Okay, and let's do this five reimbursement. Two, two, one, nine, seven, zero, one, four, one. I want to try this deck now. Are you talking about Etron? You got rings for everything, even after winning when it didn't affect your game. I know. We're winning this. <laughs> okay. When you got reimbursed, the entire league's entry for a single loss. Oh yeah, those are the good old days. Still counts as a 4-1, oh yeah. I mean, this is still game one, so it's not that big of a deal. Reproduction styles. Three mana, Teferi, Bounce, an Ugin token. And the card token does not go to hand. Subject, three mana, Teferi, and Ugin Ineffable. Are we dead here, actually? I don't think we're quite dead. We can still win. We can draw Karn the Great Creator here. Matter of Shape is not going to do it. Drew Karn the Great Creator, put Ensnaring Bridge into play, we could win. We wouldn't be quite dead. I've been playing Magic Beast to sell my Hardened Skills deck. Scared of Opal Ban, yeah. Definitely is a bit scary. But Opal hasn't been banned for so long. And I think Urza is the true problem. This contortion is pretty bad in this matchup. <laughs> hmm. I don't really like the all this dust here. I'd rather just have like Walking Ballista, I think. <laughs> A creature that turns the entire deck into Mox Sapphire would be balanced. Yeah. But it's really, it's like Urza is really the problem that like enables all of this stuff, I feel like. Approximate time, bug encountered. 1.30pm. I think this should be a mat good matchup for Etron though. Submit. I haven't fought for your reimbursement for a little bit. <laughs> uh, the sand's pretty bad. Hand is a lot better. So I'll ditch that. Cavern Soul is probably a bit better. There were 5 plus reimbursements. Those were the good old days. Those were the good old days. No longer. <laughs> Oof, right off the top, right off the top, easy peasy. Oh, nah. <laughs> Mox Opal, okay. How's it going, Cherry? You're back. You can just draw everything, yeah. The, I told you, the best way... The three ball. Don't have three ball on the sideboard, though I think we should have three ball nowadays. <laughs> Crap us wild. We'll drive you crazy. Wow, we're getting Urza. Just like right here. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> K 
Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Turn two to Lane Academy. Oh, yeah. Seems good for the opponent. Mm -hmm. Mine, Tower, Power Plant. <laughs> Let's start this off with this member here. <laughs> and then let's play Karn the Great Creator. <laughs> you keep on shouting. Huh. I'm still just going to play Chalice on zero, and then pass the turn. <sighs> Chalice on one isn't the worst, but I think Chalice on zero is still a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I guess now we get Thought Knot Seer, Three Way Cavern of Souls. Let's see what we get from this. Guess we win. Yeah, I know. No reimbursement. There's Ceremonious Rejection, which I think we should take out. I don't think I really care about those other cards. Plus here, that matter is shaper, and then pass the turn. We just go get lattice next turn. I guess maybe do we actually get lattice? Because then this construct is humongous. Why didn't they cast Emery to leave up? Um, it was to leave up this uh, this card, the ceremonious rejection. They didn't know about my cavern of souls. <laughs> See, is there anything better to get? I guess let's just get Mystic Forge. To X block the, con the construct. I guess that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plays a land, and we 2x block, but he... The Emery, that's a bit of a problem. The Emery, like, stops that from being true, though. Actually, I guess... No, nah, I'm gonna get Lattice here. Only really goes badly in very small amounts of scenarios. They're smart, they should not concede, because I could whiff on a lot of draw steps here. Possibly these. S. Chorch, 34, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Why did they concede? This becomes a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. If they attack with this and Emery, I have to block Emery and Karn struct. And then I could whiff for like three draw steps in a row. That would have been three draw steps, I think. <laughs> Huh. I think it's fine. Either way, I guess. <laughs> oh, the sand's not doing it for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we mulligan this too. Hand looks a bit better. Get four, you can plus one map. Oh yeah, that also works. Plus one their lands, pretty much GG. It's true. I definitely learned how they worked with constructs the hard way, let me tell you. Lost myself a Vintage Challenge Finals from that one. 
<laughs> I think my roommate just yelled very loudly, so they're probably playing Dota 2. <laughs> Mississippi Queen. Karn plus one on the Karn Shrug? No. You cannot do that. It's non creature, I think. Unfortunate boys, <laughs> yep. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Used to playing with Karn. Yeah, it's a very weird card. Very busted. Kind of weird. Ask me. I could be a man. Do what I told her. Do what I can. <laughs> plus one to ravine that's already attacked. Does not kill it. Yeah, because it's got a plus one, plus one counter. I remember my opponent plus one on a, um... A, uh, what's it? The Lana Worry Born that I had one time. It was very funny. They're cracking, cracking the EE. Okay, you got me, opponent. Get rid of the Astrolabe as well. Same with the Grassland, yeah. It was very funny. Happened to me when we were both 8 0 at GPLA. Or not GPLA, GP Vegas. It's not a bad one to see. Power plants. Okay, let's rip something good off the top. My Citadel's all the time. Whilst I have Master Ethereum out. Oh yeah, those are the good. Those are the goods. Oh, they've got nothing. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. Big fan of the nothings. <laughs> I think I'm fine with Blast on here. I guess they're going to... Oh no, they can't PO yet. Lord Road Runner 1812, thank you for the fall, I appreciate it. Path deck, so... Huh. Guess I'll take it. Oh, PO hit in the yard, that means they've got multiple POs. They didn't even use it? Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense to me. Emery? Okay. Emery's fine for me. Hmm. Okay, reality smasher. Get on smashing. <laughs> Mox Opal, that's a good one. Are we POing? Urzing? Maybe Urza and then POing? Got no choice. Got no principles. Looks like PO to me. That's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Oxlop was definitely the best possible draw for him. To say the least. Now they just gotta keep going. Fan of the paradoxical outcome. Yeah. Them having the Nutter Butters is pretty good. Blown two pieces. You'd have that path, or else they were gonna be dead, because they would have been at three now, and they would have had to tap this, and then just die. This 
School in out. Uh, school's out for me. What do I need off the top here? I need Karn the Great Creator, I believe. Karn the Great Creator could possibly do it for me. Four, seven. So, okay. What's the actual one calling for is a PO? Okay, draw two, three, four. I guess it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We drew a land for every draw step this game, did we? Or did we draw an expedition map once, I think? I think we drew a land for every single draw step this game, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I guess block is not going to do me much good, so I might as well attack. <laughs> Just killed your opponent with their summon respect, easy peasy. Guy minus two, minus two. Wow, they blocked with Urza, so I guess they just have another Urza. <laughs> Raven Siege or Grinding Station. Yeah, something. Could have Nexus of Fate, too. Okay, another Urza, sure. What do you want to tap grinding station? Just play like random stuff, like artifacts and things. <laughs> Can do with every box hopefuls. To loop them, that works. <laughs> Sunshine of you. <laughs> On you. Okay. Karn the Great Creator. That's my chance at winning this turn. Ooh, Chalice the Void. Right on time, Chalice the Void. Right on time. Pretty unlucky there. Next card. Next card. Go get Ensnaring Bridge that turn. And then we lattice the next turn if we get to it. They do have the two Thopters, so it stops the Karn at least for a tiny bit. It didn't show us quite an answer to Ensnaring Bridge. They probably had um, the uh, the Ceremonial Rejection in their hand. Dance in the Mass with it on board. Yeah, it seems pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah, I would like to be on the play. Sand is fun. Shadows of Wood can be good here, or Matter Shaper, most likely. <sighs> well, no, we had the bug, so it's like a, it's like an honorary four one, basically. Amulet Titan, what the heck? I think we gotta try and just go quickly here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ancient Strings, okay, that's fine. Simic Grill Chamber, that's not what I wanted to see. Now. Okay, well, let's see what Mattery Shapers can do here. They can pull it out. Yay. Chalice on zero is a good move. Uh, yes, I definitely should have. That was a mistake. Mm -hmm. How's it going, Brett K? You're about to stream. We practice every cool deck, and then we challenge, comes around, and we just play Burn. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that. I only did that one time. I only really did that one time. 
I guess we get 3, 6, 11. So we don't quite have lethal next turn. <laughs> Just have Titan all natural. Lucky. Lucky. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're not actually dead. Actually, we had guaranteed lethal if they didn't have the Titan, at least. I think we should be fine still. Do not how to weigh. Okay. They don't get to attack with this, at least, don't believe so. No man. Down, down, down on my knees. Yeah. Barracuda. Mm hmm hmm. Um... Okay, that's fun. So your target creature can't attack or block this turn. Hmm. Let's do this. No ghost quarter. I need to put ghost quarters into my decks. Huh. Guild Jolly's Temple is fine. Let's attack for six. Set up for next turn. Yeah, no Ghost Quarter is pretty bad. What is this? Oh, they have another one. That's unfortunate. Well, there's their Ghost Quarter. We just have another time. Okay, we're we just did. Um, I guess so. That one can't attack. Shooting for one. Yeah, we're dead. They just had the old natural double titan in their hand. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. What if all this dust is at top? Oh, I guess that's true. But it wasn't, so we didn't get punished. <laughs> On double strike. Yeah, they can also... I don't think they can double strike. Because I can make it so one of them can't attack. And you see if haste the other one. Doesn't quite work. I think we had one more turn. <sighs> okay. What are we bringing in? Don't know that Kangerback Walker Torpor Orb can be fine here. Maybe we just want Torpor Orb to just go get with Karn. I feel like we can just get in Snaring Bridge with it. And I'll do the job. Actually, no, I should leave Torpor Orb on the sideboard, but I pressed submit already. You still in your memory sensey deck on stream decker? Oh yeah, I should update. Um so your stream decker. And it's pretty bad. This hand is a bit better. I guess I'll ditch hmm. Mindstone? No, I'll ditch matter shaper, I think. Hmm. Let's see. This messing with your headphones really bad, this song. But I really like this song, so we're gonna listen to it anyways. Okay, that's fine. 
Carnegie Creator is pretty good. Okay, and now we should be updated. The Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack it is. Career Tribe Scout. So lucky. Opponent. <laughs> a Hendrick Experience intro. <laughs> Amy the Vigor 2? Come on, give me a break. <laughs> hmm. I guess I have to be greedy and just spatial contortion here, or not be greedy, because if they have just like bounce land to aim with, I can just lose really easily. Hmm. And we can blast some down amulet now. <laughs> I think we just have to blast some down amulet. Not feel great about it. I just want to draw the remaining Tron piece. Is that too much to ask? Let us grow a tribe scout, okay. Guard on clue would have been good. We're just gonna take out the tireless tracker. This a meme song? Eh, it's close enough to it, right? Snaring bridge and then pass turn. It is Tom Morell doing a guitar solo. So it's basically a meme song. Time. It's getting prime timed out here. It's getting. It's prime time. <laughs> See what they're getting. T West, I assume. Plus something else. US plus field. Or Ghost Quarter plus field of dead. Okay. Sage in hand, maybe. Oh wait, they have Rick's Sage hand? No, so they did that. I'm gonna be greedy and not plus on the incinerating bridge. to make you bad at what they know get t-west well they don't like have any blue mana so it doesn't really do much for them <laughs> i ran your family once upon a time okay that's fine <laughs> With a pocket full of shells. Okay, more field of the triggers, sure. What is this? I don't quite understand what they're doing. Plants just you watch, that would be nuts.
I'll just let this happen. Now, any land is good to just win the game on the spot, I, sh I do believe. And there we go, that's a land. That's a land. <laughs> Let's last it up. Where are you, my boy, Myko Sin? Hmm. We kill you with plants. Um, I don't think so. What is this? Once upon a time, okay. Should just still be dead. Ghost quarter, sure. I don't care. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Don't play over claim or something. I mean, yeah. But if they do, I still have like, still got it, so it's fine. <laughs> okay, sure you've got plants. Let's take out Field of the Dead. Let's play out this. Plus. This and then pass. Attack it with the old one, giving it plus two plus zero, right? No, because Slayer Stronghold can't be activated. Noble Hierarch? Yeah, they're not going to get a Noble Hierarch. I've got a good feeling about that one. <laughs> yeah, okay, they've seen enough. <laughs> they have seen enough. Yep, they did get greedy. But the thing is, they wouldn't have even been able to do that, because I just used my walking blister to kill whichever one uh, they try to uh, pump up. <laughs> like, doesn't even really do it. I don't think, at least. My border trial lands make me want to hurt babies. <laughs> I think I have two sets of light border ones, which is kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta use the bathroom, so I'm gonna be right back. Okay, we're back. Sand is pretty doo doo. Hmm. We're gonna keep the doo doo hand. I need fast enough. <laughs> Do this. Chalice on zero, I guess. Pass. <laughs> what is this? Green? Rip another temple, I know. That's the plan. Azusa, sure. Yo, Rena, strange. This song is a certified banger. <laughs> the entire Guitar Hero 3 soundtrack is certified bangers, though, so. 
Okay, are we dead? You got a Titan in your hand? Doesn't look like it. Kind of watch other amulet players they always seem to have. It's golden. Dead. Well, we're not dead yet. I haven't seen anything that kills me. They're not tapping their mana for anything, so we ain't dead yet. I think they've got... Got a feeling they have Summoner's Pact in their hand. Oh, no, they just have Stone Nothings. Okay. That's fine with me as well, I guess. If I got Zakamad, I would be fairly upset. White. No. Okay. Blue green. Okay. Amulet. Literal nothing, yeah. <laughs> Think I'm just gonna crack this blast zone. What happens if I go for Karn the Great Creator? Well, we just die if he has Titan, right? If we don't crack the Blast Zone, so I think I'm just going to crack it. Because he just does plus two, plus two, twice, or... Yeah, he just, like, um... Plus two, plus those twice, and then double strikes twice, we're dead. Or not double strikes twice, double strikes once. This is power plant, I guess. Jam in. <laughs> Down to seven. I'm a fan. Ugh. Maybe we can pull this one out because they didn't have it. They finally didn't have it. For one time in our lives, we've been lucky. <laughs> Still has the Vesuvo in his hand. He is so much worse than 90 some of the cards I could play in that spot. It's very good in certain scenarios and very bad in others. Definitely a great card against like Burn. Pretty bad against Etron in this scenario, of course. I think I'm just supposed to play another Thought Not Seer. So I have one, two, three, four different types of lands. Yeah, so I think I'm just supposed to play this and it sets up for lethal. Let's say I have like exactly like Hornet Queen off the top, basically. Kill turn 2 with the O3. Mm -hmm. I need something, I guess, Thrag Tusk also kind of does it. But, nope. Better lucky than good. That's what he said? What a fucking cunt. God damn. Good. Didn't even give me the... If he gave me, like, a smiley face, at least I know he's memeing. But that way he's just being a bitch. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get out of this chest. 25 play points? That's above average. Chalice one in that situation. I probably should have, to be honest. But I didn't think about it. Well, we got a 3-2, you know. And the bug. So maybe we'll get a reimbursement as well, so that won't be too bad. Anything lucky out of a chest? Yeah, I've got opened 1,000 play points a couple times. I opened a foil set once. And, you know, I've had a lot of, like, Mox Opals, Force of Wills, all, all the goods. I've opened a lot of chests, to say at least. What is the bug? Um, a a three-mana Teferi bounced our Ugin, the Ineffable token, and we didn't get the card from under it. Which was a bug. It didn't actually make us lose, but it is a bug nonetheless, and we lost the match. So, yep. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, and you can watch my gameplay live. I'll see you guys later.